and we are live. We are live We're a little bit early. Come on in, like, share, follow. We are doing a food menu again for insulin resistance, type two, but this can be for um, hypertension, cancer, high cholesterol, heart disease, skin diseases like eczema, you name it. Oh, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, depending on where you're coming from this morning. So good morning, welcome, welcome. We're gonna get started in a few minutes. I know others are uh, still joining. And thank you all for joining again. Really appreciate the support, and, and we hope that you're, you're getting some benefit and, uh, from the course and from the, the programs. And I know it's, it's benefited us over the years, so it's something we want to share. So thanks for joining, and uh, continue to tune in. Oh, um, yes. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Come on in, folks. Thank you for joining. We're a little early. We are a little early. Yes, we'll get started here in a second, but uh, we'll give others some more time here to join. But thanks again. Thanks for joining. Welcome to the program this morning. I keep saying this morning, but I guess it's really it's afternoon. It's noon, and we are making our lunch, and we're just going to take you right along with us, um, show you how we eat, what we eat. And I know we uh, geared this towards uh, type 2 insulin resistance. But this is for every lifestyle disease. Even if you don't have a lifestyle disease, okay? This is to keep you healthy. This is to maintain your health, regain your health. That's what we're doing. So like, share, follow, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the hearts and roses. Tap the screen. We love the gifts. Appreciate you. Um, thank you, Denise, for taking the course. I'm sure you're on your way to health and healing. Thank you to Connie. Oh, I should have wrote the names down. Um, um, Lede, thank you so much for your support. Thank you all. Really appreciate and it. And you are on your way to health and healing. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Tell us where you're watching from and tell us where you're watching from and what you've done so far today. What you've done so far today for your health. And I'm talking the New Start program. Hey, Mississippi. Hey, Tampa. Go ahead. Yeah, continue to join, folks. And yeah, uh, so let us know where you're, you're joining from. And what you've done today. Okay, Austin, Texas. Hello. Hello, Austin, Chicago, uh, South Florida. All right, South Florida. Hey, yeah, also tell us what you've done so far today. I'm making you, I'm holding you accountable now here. Let us know what you've done so far today, Las Vegas, New York, um, Bend, Oregon, Louisville, Kentucky, Arizona. What have you done so far today to feed your cells or to maintain your health? What have you done so far today? Like, share, follow. Delaware, California, North Carolina. Yes. Come on over here with me, honey. Liberty Hill, Texas. New, New Orleans. Orleans in the house. Yeah. Mm. Read my Bible. All right. Hey, Maria. That's that's number one. Pittsburgh, D.C. Wyoming. Wyoming. Went walking. That's our exercise. So we are talking about the eight natural doctors of health, the eight laws of health. Somebody already mentioned went walking. That's exercise. Somebody mentioned they read their Bible. That's that, that mental... That trust, trust in divine power, yeah. rest, absolutely. That is our, that's a law of health. New start is in the house, the eight laws of health. Hey, Georgia, hey, Connecticut. The divine power is what you're going to need to continue to maintain this lifestyle because health is a lifestyle and we're talking about lifestyle disease 
prevention. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Prayer. Tennessee, hello. Yes. Prayer. prayer. This morning, someone said apple and water for uh, Nut ideal nu nutrition and water. New superior nutrition. Absolutely. Hello, Tennessee. Hello, hey, Seattle. Seattle. Ohio. Ohio. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Okay, rest. All of these are the laws of health. But you know what? Let's pray before we get started. Let's pray for healing. Let's pray for divine wisdom and judgment and just the temperance to be able to live out these laws. Right. Giving thanks and gratitude. All of that is good for your, your mental health, so, right? So this hey, is, Jersey. after all, this is a Bible-based course, a Bible-based program mm -hmm. and principles from the Bible. So uh, we're going to say a, a We a love short, you too. Thank you. All right. Morning. Let us pray. Dear God, we want to thank you for this day. We, it's a beautiful day. Help us now as we go into studying more principles that you have for us. Uh, give us the wisdom, the power, the willpower to, to be able to implement these into our lives and that we can see the, the results that you would like us to have. We thank this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. right. Like, share, follow. Hey, Tiffany. Done did it, Jesus. I love that name. Woo! <laughs> yes. I love that. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, so what I'm drinking, I did see that question. Hello from Denver. And I'm going to have to take notes because I can't always talk and remember what you're, what you're asking. This is lemon water. So this is one of the little things that I do to start my day to alkal alkalinize my body. Alkalinity. Right? We want to we want to keep the acidic things out of our bodies. <laughs> what is happening? We are talking about the New Start program. In fact, come on, if you know the New Start program and you know what each law is and what that letter stands for or represents, because it's an acronym, put it on the screen for me. Put it in the comments. I'll give you the first one: nutrition. Nutrition. Oh, mm. nutrition is a big one. But they're all important, right? They are all important, but nutrition is the most challenging. Nutrition and temperance. Yes. Nutrition and temperance, why? Well, temperance, you know, we, it, that requires willpower, right? And, and divine power. power. <laughs> divine power, really, to be able to uh, to stay on course. That's and right. And be able to implement, um, eliminate some things, right, that are not good and just moderation and those other things that are good for us so uh, temperance is very important tell the people what we what we eliminating with temperance oh thank you i just cut it too well yeah we what all we're, struggle what we're eliminating some of the things that we've talked about over the you know course of this program for example uh when we look at nutrition right which is a big one well we mentioned things such as um, alcohol right that's not good for our bodies alcohol we want to eliminate that we want to eliminate uh, um, uh, caffeine right these narcotics these uh, uh, stimulants you know that are not good for us um, when we talk about nutrition we said certain foods are not good that we want to eliminate like we mentioned pork right we want to eliminate that uh, that has a negative effect on the body um, other things we mentioned, we, are, we, we, did we say uh, nicotine, right? If you're smoking, we want to eliminate that. We know that's not good for us. Um, so quite a few things, and we'll probably list some more as we go through, but that's just a few that we're talking about. We just want to eliminate entirely. Don't try to moderate in those things. We want to get, the, get rid of those. And we are glad you are here. A couple of questions. Stubborn belly fat, these eight laws of health are going to attack that but you have to incorporate all eight laws of health. And mostly what we do on this channel is show you how to eat, right? We, 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 have, a, we have a thing that we do, half cooked, half raw. We are plant-based, that's big. We are eliminating all animal products. That's gonna help with a lot of things, all right? How do you know if you're insulin resistant? You go to your doctor and they will do a test on you and check your levels, A1C levels, but we also have something for you that's going to attack insulin resistance type 2 and all of these lifestyle diseases that we do not have to have because we are working with lifestyle disease prevention. We are a, this is a Bible-based program because the creator, 
created you and he knows what you need to put in your body. That's it. They're telling you the new test that they're running now. Okay? But we try to we trying to get rid of it. We're trying to reverse it. We're not trying to manage type 2. That's not what we're trying to do here. We are trying to reverse it completely. And we can. I mean, and the program, the, the principles, I should say, can help you to reverse, uh, not just to manage, but and you'll be surprised. And it's been it's been proven. You know, you, you implement these principles, the principles. you'll see that these will uh, your conditions type two will be reversed. It so. will. All right, let's get started. So we were just going to do a little Bible, just a little bit, just to show you where these principles come from. But I have created a course. You can go to my profile and find all that. It's jumping out at you. Well, we specifically get into the details of what we've been doing for 30 years to stay prescription free, to stay vital, Yeah. yeah to man. have a quality of life. And just, just feeling good, right? Just getting up in the morning and you're feeling good. You feel and, good. And, and no meds. Day, you know, so that's, that's right. That's, that's, that's priceless, right? That's what you want to have. So, and that's what we're working mm -hmm. towards. All right. He's 58. I'm 50. Type 1, this is good for all. Yes. Yes, but type 1, you know, you're born with that. So, what you can do is just actually make things better, right? Right. Right. You can make it better. You can make things better. Okay? But type 2 is reversible. This is just stuff we eating. We're not exercising. We're not drinking the water. These are things that we actually can do. And it's a lot of type 2s. A lot of type 2 diabetics. And let me tell you about diabetes. Like, share, follow. Like, share, follow. It does not come alone. That's the thing about diabetes. Man, amputations are coming with diabetes. What else? Um, sometimes blindness. Blindness, stroke, heart it's, it's, Listen, yeah. and we don't have to we don't have to have this, right? Exactly. My hot friend was hospitalized. I'm telling you, like share follow, like share follow. Okay, quickly. New start program. We've created the course. Go ahead and register. It's your life, it's your health. You only have one life, right? You it's February, we are almost in March. We've set all of these New Year's resolutions and we haven't done anything. This program is what you're looking for because it's not just about diet. We're not talking just keto and all these other fad diets. This is holistic, synergistic. It's a lifestyle. Right. Health is a lifestyle. Holistic, absolutely. Like, share, follow. Thank you for the roses. Thank you for the gifts. We appreciate it. Now quickly, honey, go ahead on and tell them about that Bible. Yeah, so I'll give you a few Bible texts, right? Just from the book of Genesis, right at the beginning, right? Of course, you can find this probably throughout the Bible, but just from Genesis. Get your notepad. Yeah. You know, class is in session with us. By the way, if this, if you're new here, honey, let me just say this. I am a, um, I'm, I'm a teacher. That's what I do. I teach, okay? Now I'm teaching this lifestyle that to me is the most important thing. So I've bridged teaching education with this program to show you how it works okay i'm an elementary teacher so i've made it very elementary very basic right all right so that's what we do okay so let's i'm going to give you a few bible texts you can jot these down and you can go back and refer to them but here's and i'm again just in the book of genesis so uh, the first one and i'm going to use the new start right Nutrition, exercise, water. So first, nutrition. What Bible text that, uh, can we find that helps us to, uh, we can refer back to nutrition? Well, that's Genesis 129, right? So you might want to jot that down. Genesis 129. And God said, Behold, I have given thee every herb-bearing seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree in which the fruit of a tree-yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. So that's nutrition, right? Uh, e for exercise. What Bible text can help us uh, look at exercise? That's Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Genesis 2, 15. Exercise. And the Lord God took man and put him in the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. It means he had to work it. 
You have some work to do. Exercise. And garden work is hard. You sweating with that garden work. I don't know if how many of you guys have gardens, but that is some tedious, hard work, sweating exercise. What else we got? So that's nutrition, uh, that's nutrition exercise. exercise. Water, right? So that looks like Genesis chapter 2, verse 10. And again, these are, there are others, but these are just some that we can refer Ooh, to. Ooh, somebody say, I'm a doctor and they talking facts. Thank you for your service, doctor. And we trying to keep them out of your ERs, right? We need you when we cut, when we yes. need some surgery. Like, <laughs> like if I get in a car accident, I need you. And like we said before, we're not trying to eliminate positions. No. And we need those folks. Like yes, we do annual. Said, we, there, you, you, you're very vital and important to us. Yes. So thank you. <laughs> but we just don't want people coming in the ER for things they can actually do themselves, right? Um, if he's not serious, I don't know. But we do appreciate our doctors and our nurses. Um, so getting back to some texts, we were talking about water, right? So what, what Bible text? Genesis 2, uh, verse 10. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from thence it was parted and it became to four heads. So water, you know, a river went out from the garden of Eden to water it. And we can use water both internally and externally for health and healing. You know you need to be drinking that water, right? Half a gallon or basically half your body weight. That's what I'll say. Now, if you have kidney issues, talk with your doctor right but you need to be drinking that water you can use water externally hot and cold treatments called hydrotherapy enemas oh man come on and we may, yes. do, may do eventually do a program on that so um, scripture for the nutrition please genesis 129 genesis 129 nutrition right so i'll read that uh, real quickly once again and god said behold i have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth in every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat or for food. Okay? You know what that means, right? That didn't say anything about animal products. That didn't say anything about the cow being for food, the eggs being for food, which are high in cholesterol. It didn't say anything about milk being your drink of choice, because water is your drink of choice. Okay? So it talks about fruits there, seeds. Nuts, nuts whole grains, grains, vegetables come later. Right. Okay. Uh, we're talking about sunshine now, right? What's the Bible text for that? So that's Genesis chapter 1, verse 16. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. So we know that's the sun, right? The greater light and the moon. So yes. that's sunshine, right? Sunshine, that's one of our eight laws of health. And D3. So we, we need the sun. D3, I know you hear a lot about not getting sun. I mean, you have to respect the sun, right? Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Let's get this up. We're at 5,000 likes. You have to respect the sun. You have to respect water. Water can kill. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you have to respect these laws as well and use some good common sense. But we need some sunlight, especially if you have melanin. You need more, 20 to 30 minutes sometimes a day. Right. And if you're in climates where you're not getting that sun, you're going to have to supplement because you need the D3. Right. Okay? That's right. Oh, that's a good point, Kel. Motivation for me to go outside and take a walk. And guess what you're going to get? You're going to hit about four laws right there. Yes. When you go outside and take that walk. Tell them what you're going to hit. Right. Well, you're exercising. That's one, right? You're going to get fresh air, which we're going to talk about shortly. That's another. Uh, you're, what's the third one there? Exercise sunshine, of course. If it's sunny, right? You're going to get your sunshine. That's another law. And you're going to come back thirsty and you're going to drink water. You're gonna water. <laughs> you're going to drink water. Not Kool-Aid, not juice, not milk. Not, you're going to drink water. Like, share, follow. Not none of that dirty water. Water. Right. Just exactly. so just walking outdoors, right? You're hitting quite a few of like these four laws of that we're talking about. And if you're singing a scripture song while you walking, <laughs> oh, now you didn't got the depression gone. You are positive thinking. Your nature. Listen, that walk outside right. can do a lot. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, let's talk. That kind of leads us to leads us into the next one, which is temperance. Right. Our next law, temperance. So where in the Bible can we look at? So Genesis. I found Genesis chapter 1, verses 16 and 17, 
kind of talks about temperance a little bit. And I'll read it quickly mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. It says, In the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Did you hear that? So, mm. temperance, right? So, there was abundance, right? There was plenty. God said, all these trees you may eat, but there's one that you should not eat. And so, he, there's moderation in that, right? What's the principle there for today, though? What's the principle for today? Well, I'm not sure what you mean by it. Well, for me, I think when I hear that, I'm, I'm hearing that there are things today we should not be consuming. Oh, okay. I see where you're going. Yeah. There are foods and drinks today that right. we should not be consuming. And we're talking about insulin resistance now. We're still on that topic. Insulin resistance, hypertension, cancer. I'm talking about all of it. What are some of the things you should not be consuming today that's going to spike your sugar? Yeah, we talked about a few of these things earlier. but yeah. Here we go. Yes. We go in there. Most things. Well, first of all, I would basically get the animal products out of my diet. Animal products, sugar, um, oh, fast that, food, yeah, processed, processed foods. foods. Uh, when we look at uh, stimulants like nicotine, caffeine, mm -hmm. alcohol, alcohol. Um, mm -hmm. and, and most mm -hmm. type of, of, of drugs and illegal, yes. illegal drugs you know we want to of course eliminate all those totally from our diet yes uh, and if you're not you know spiritual things are spiritually discerned i know some of y'all on here I, you don't get it and that's okay i understand because this is spiritually discerned and i'm gonna leave it like that well, it's, it's, it's Bible-based, right? Like we mentioned over and over, that's we, a lot of these principles we're talking about and sharing, it comes from the Bible. And that's some of the texts, again, that I'm doing right now. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> exactly. We are explaining these laws. There are eight of them. We call them eight laws of health, eight natural doctors. He's yeah. showing you where they are in the first book of the Bible where we were created. And, and we'll summarize at the end if, if anyone, if you all still have more questions. So let's, con let's continue. Um, so that was temperance, right? The next one would be air. S-T-A. A for air. Fresh so, air. Fresh air. So let's look at Ooh. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 7, mm. right? And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament, firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. So firmament, we know that's the atmosphere, right? The air. So that's Genesis chapter 1, right at the beginning of the Bible. Genesis 1, verse 7. All right, hold on. Somebody said no carbs. I don't really agree with that. What I agree with is good carbs. And we're going to talk about this in our little cooking segment. We've got a little cooking segment coming on. We want you to have, and we, I'm sorry, I went back to nutrition, but I have to answer these questions. Okay. If it's white, it ain't right. Just remember that. If it's white, it ain't right when it comes to food. You see all these whole grains? These are whole grains. That means for the insulin resistant person, it's going to break down slowly. Now, am I saying eat three cups? No. Have you a half a cup of... And, and here's another thing. Wheat, you don't... It doesn't have to be wheat. Here on this plate, we have... What is this right here? Brown rice. We have some uh, kamut. We have barley, we have, uh, what is this, corn, whole corn, popcorn. We have quinoa, millet, um, what's that, that grain in Minnesota that they always eat? It's not, it, it's not wild, wild rice, rice, but it's not a rice, right? So a little bit of that, and then just flood your plate with veggies. I'm talking type two here. People who are insulin resistant, flood your plate with veggies. We want half cooked, half raw, and we also want to make sure when we do do those grains that they're whole with the fiber so it doesn't go into your bloodstream like that. But eliminate fast food, eliminate processed food, eliminate that sugar, and then fat, which comes from those animal products, that kind of fat. Put in the good fat, right? Because now they're showing research, it changes so much. That's why I'm so glad God doesn't change. The research is, and the science is showing now that type 2 insulin resistance is a what? Fat metabolic disease. You cannot 
metabolize fat. First it was sugar, now it's fat. I think it's a little bit of both. It probably it's probably both. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go into it. But uh, let's finish here. We only have two more to go. I agree with Dr. Seavey. Uh, one, the last, uh, second to last one is S-T-A-R, rest. Where can we find rest in Genesis chapter um, the beginning of the Bible. So I would say that's Genesis chapter 1. And let's look at verse Genesis 2, I'm sorry. Genesis 2. Uh, chapter, chapter 2, verse 2. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And not only that, he went and he also blessed and sanctified the seventh day. So there you see God resting uh, on the seventh day as uh, a command and example for us to do likewise. Mm -hmm. So that God knew how important rest would be for us and how much it's needed to help keep a healthy uh, lifestyle, a healthy um, body and lifestyle, both mentally and physically. Right. So rest. That's Genesis chapter two, verse two. And the last one would be T, S-T-A-R-T. -T. You have something to say? I want to come, comment on that rest because we want to take this Bible, right, and make it practical. Let's talk just a little bit about rest. And again, we're reiterating these are the eight natural doctors of health, but also very important laws of health that promote health and healing. Okay? So, rest. What time are we going to bed? How much sleep are we getting per night? Okay. Um, are we going to bed between the hours of 10? Well, let me tell you this. Between the hours of 10 and 3, that's healing. 1 a.m., your liver is healing. If you're up, if, if you woke at 1 a.m., you're missing out on some healing. Okay. So we need that rest. It helps with the circadian rhythm. Your body likes a rhythm it likes to eat at the same time every day it likes to have its water at the same time every day it likes to eliminate at the same time every day we want to exercise at the same time it, it likes that rhythm circadian rhythm that internal clock okay and all of this is in my course all of this is in my course somebody asked about water what kind is the best water that's in my course and we're also testing the waters all these bottled waters, it's really only two of them out there that we saw that were at like a 7.5. Okay, go and take that course. Okay, so the last one we want to talk about as far as the new start principle is the T, right? That last T, S-T-R-T, which is uh, trust Thank you, Tam. in divine power. Trust in divine. So the text we can refer to that. In Genesis is Genesis chapter 2, yes. verse uh, 17. That PHP. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. So there, God is what? Giving Adam a, a test there, right? Uh, um, he's asking him to trust him. Mm -hmm. Trust mm -hmm. him. There, there are all these trees, right? But he says one that you should not eat of. Okay, so Adam has to... He may not know fully understand why, right? But he's asking God to trust him. Mm -hmm. God is asking Adam to trust him in that. So we need to have that type of faith, a trust in God. You're welcome. Thank you, Tam, for the best. love. Thank you, Tam. Is, is it, yeah, Tam Flea, thank you for the love. I'm sorry, honey. Okay, did you want to finish? So, uh, but that kind of, that's just a quick summary of some of the Bible text you can look at in Genesis. Just in the beginning. Now, it's like we said earlier, there are other texts in the Bible you can go to to help uh, Oh yes. kind of emphasize and show where these laws are found. But take this down, students. You know, I'm a teacher. Take this down. This is your homework. 3 John 2, Romans 12, 1 and 2, um, Revelations 22, 2. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Uh, like we said, yes. uh, quite a few other texts you can go into the Bible that talks about these principles, these laws of health that, uh, that we're referring to. Yeah, Revelations 22, too. I want to make sure I got that one because the herbs 
or for the healing of the nation. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. So let's do, I mean, those eight laws, eight natural doctors, we're dealing with ideal nutrition, superior nutrition, free of animal products, free of sugar, right? And I'm talking about processed white stuff, right? Exercise, welcome, water, sunlight, temperance, getting that junk out your diet, right? Um, air, fresh, keep it fresh. Rest, oh, we went too fast on the scripts. Ah, um, we'll repeat them, well, we can repeat them because that's important and trust in divine power. So let's reiterate the scriptures. Just in the book of Genesis, in the beginning, the garden diet, the garden, the, the, that holistic lifestyle, the New Start program. Just go quickly through Genesis. Okay. Genesis 1, 29, chapter 1, verse 29. That's nutrition. All right. Exercise. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Water. Genesis chapter 2, verse 10. Sunshine. Genesis chapter 1, verse 16. Mm-hmm. Temperance, Genesis chapter 2, verses 16 and 17. Air, Genesis chapter 1, verse 7. Rest, Genesis chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. And the last one, trust in divine power, trust in God, that's Genesis chapter 2, verses 16 and 17. And that's going to take care of all the stress and mental health right there and give you the power to do this. You are welcome, queen. Um, so let's get started. I know you want to see what we have on the menu today. We're talking about food menus, but we definitely wanted to give you a little introduction of the course that we created, why we do what we do, why we live this lifestyle, um, and to let you know it is Bible-based, okay? Uh, what else? Well... I think we're going to go into a demonstration. Yes. So Let's do it. So we want to start there. Okay. Remember, last week, insulin people, insulin resistant folks and the like, and all of you who want to maintain or regain your health, we had a menu of a smoothie, but we made it creamy with avocado because we know that banana might spike you, right? Until you balance, right? Then you can go back and eat the fruits. We told you to stay clear of uh, the bananas, but do berries if we're going to do fruit. Do green apples if we're going to do fruit. Do um, grapefruit if we're going to do fruit, okay? Not a lot of sugars there. So we did the smoothie. We also did a seed breakfast, which was, it was a hot cereal. And instead of the cream of wheat, because some of y'all are scared of the grits and the cream of wheat, and you probably need to balance before you incorporate those whole grains, but we gave you a seed breakfast, which was um, chia, seed. chia seeds and flax seeds combined. And we served that with a little almond milk. We put some, uh, maybe just a tablespoon of raisins, just a tablespoon. And like I said, if you remove animal products, fast foods, processed foods, you'll be able to do this. But you got to choose. You can't have it all. Right? All the fruits you ate, you hate. All the fruits you hate, I hate. Wait till you balance. Wait till you balance. Okay. Um, so we did. And you don't have to put the fruits in the chia chia seed um, flax cereal. But I like it. We put some walnuts on top of there. Like a tablespoon of raisins. Just a tablespoon. No dates. None of that. Okay. And we also told you that you can do hum like a hummus platter with uh, veggies, uh, green beans, and cucumbers, celery. celery, things like that. So we gave you a breakfast, lunch, kind of dinner thing. All right, so today, and the guidelines were, so you're gonna help me today too. You helped me with that food menu. Today, you're gonna help me as well, okay? Um, today, we're gonna do some lettuce wraps, all right? And I wanted to ask some of you out there who have insulin resistance, uh, because I don't. So I want to ask you, and, and it's because of this lifestyle that I don't, because I was pre, so I know it works. Um, these, these wraps, 
these extreme wellness wraps. Oh, good. You got a hummus platter now. It has 15, 15 grams of total carbs. It has 15 grams of total carbs. Now, if you're looking at your glycemic index, somebody who's insulin resistance on this slide, tell me how many carbs you're supposed to have daily. How many carbs per day are you, are you allowed to have? Thank you. We love you too, secret. You have to watch that. I do agree. But I, what the point I'm trying to make is that you have to be detectives for your body because everybody's body is different. You have to be detectives. You have to read labels. You have to make sure you know what you're consuming. Okay? Yeah. They work. Okay, good. So that's something that you could use from for last week too, just putting things in there. For 45 per meal per my nutritionist. Okay, okay, that is so doable. That is so doable. But what we need to do, again, if you're not getting the fiber, you need the fiber. You have to start doing whole grains. Get that white flour out of your diet, get those white sugars, Incorporate some of these whole grains. You stick under 50. Good. All right. Well, you're going to be okay today. The guidelines today is we need, so we need fiber, good fiber. Fiber is very important. We can't underestimate the fiber. Uh, and a lot of times we emphasize protein over fiber, but it, we, it really it should be fiber. We want to get that fiber, I mean, because that's going to help, help um, aid in digestion. It's mm -hmm. just going to improve your overall uh, 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 health. And those sugars not going to break down fast. They won't break down as fast. That's correct. It's going to be a slow release. And that's what you need for those glucose levels. Okay. Like, share, follow. Like, share, follow. All right. So we need fiber for this food menu. We need a good fat. A good fat. And we need protein. We need a little protein. But good protein. Not animal protein. Good protein. So let's get started. All right. I want to start, look, guys, look at my husband's sprouts. Oh, aren't they pretty? Live food, half live, half raw. Yeah, this, we just, just harvested that this morning, so it's, it's really fresh. This is the alfalfa, and this is what? Red clover. Yes. Woo. So we're going to incorporate some of these sprouts, but let's get started with um, our lettuce wraps. All right, so remember, you're helping me here. So, what's going to be our raw? Yeah. What's going to be our raw? No, we didn't use any special lights. We have a nice window, though. A, a whole, like, ten windows behind us. And we just put them on a table back there in the sun. The sun! The sun. All right, I'm going to get the skillet and you, you can talk to people. Okay. Answer the questions. So right. I gotta get my skin. Let's see. So we're getting together. We're starting to. Um, our red clover helps cleanse the blood too. Yes, red clover. You know, we did a program on sprouts, uh, and, and we may do another one. But they can go watch the replay. Um, yes, it's out there. So if you want to uh, review it, and so, but I sprout quite a bit, and sprouts are very healthy for you. It's very healthy. You get your fiber that you need. You get all the nutrients that you need. And uh, so it's going to keep you healthy uh, and they taste good, right? So, I mean, you can put them on salads. Um, sometimes I, I just eat them, especially alfalfa sprouts, right? Uh, very versatile. You can do a lot of things with them. Uh, let's see what you're saying. Red clover helps cleanse the blood. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, and there are many different types of sprouts too, right? So. Right now, I'm primarily I'm doing alfalfa and red clover, but there are many other I mean, uh, different type of bean sprouts, um, amaranth. You know, it's just so many different types, um, sunflowers. But and again, we'll probably do a program, a demonstration on that another time. But we do have one out there already that you can go and, and look at. So um, here we're getting together now with. Let me turn this where on. Where can you get the sprouts? Mom's is a good, Mom's True true uh, Leaf. Those are two good places, good sources. Um, and it's on Amazon. 
We grow them inside. Yes, this is an indoor garden. That's what's wonderful about sprouting and the wheatgrass. It's an indoor garden, okay? I wanted to answer. I was take, I try to take notes when he's speaking so I can answer some of the questions as well. Um, I, we have we do probiotics. Yeah, we do. We do. Cancer. Yes, somebody asked about the cancer. Okay, this is good for every lifestyle disease. Right. That's what I love about it. God knows what we need. He knows how to heal every disease. And that's what this program is going to do. When you go and register, download it, and follow. If you work this program, did you hear me? If, you know, the Lord, he always in the Bible gave us uh, contingencies, conditions. conditions. If you do this, then this will happen. But if you don't do this, then this will happen. It's the same with this. If you work the program, you're going to get health and healing, period. And if it's not totally healed, because sometimes we go, it's too far gone. Some things are too far gone. Like if you need a kidney, I mean, but guess what this will do? It'll help, it'll get, make it better, right? Yes. It will make it better. You can live with it a little bit better, okay? So um, even though we're talking about type 2 diabetes, like Vita said, this is good for other hypertension, diseases, cancer, and lifestyle issues. High cholesterol, help. you name it, because the body is, 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 is holistic, okay? Okay, let's start, let's start. Fire it up, babe, fire it up. Not too high, not too high. And I'll be sweating on our food, and I don't want to do that. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. All right, so remember, we have half raw, half cooked. We want good fiber. We want, so that's whole grains, if we incorporate it. We want a good fat, and we want some protein, good protein, good sources, because we're talking about superior, ideal nutrition. All right. So lettuce wraps. For my wraps. All right, y'all know I need y'all to help. Come on. What, what can I use for my wraps besides what I have? I have a little bit of red cabbage leaves and I have some romaine lettuce leaves. What else can I use for a wrap? Put the comments on the screen. Put the comments on the screen. What else can I use for a wrap? Yeah, let's run these likes up. This is this the best info. Come on. Let's go. Yes, it is a specialized regimen. We are not doing a mustard leaf, a collard leaf. Yeah. We're talking about the wrap, just the just to hold it. Some of you guys can use um, this extreme wellness wrap if you don't want a raw. Some of you guys can use that. Bok choy. Bok choy That's a good is good. One. Kale. Kale. All right, butter lettuce would be delicious. I love that. All right, so good. Because you have to help yourself with this. You, you have to come on in here and do this cooking yourself. I can't be with you all day. So we have alternatives, okay? This is what we had in the refrigerator. I don't think spinach is gonna work because it has to hold the feeling that I'm about to cook. Cucumber's not gonna work. We could put it inside the wrap, but this is what's gonna hold our feeling, okay? So. I took some of the leaves off of the cabbage and I'm going to put some in here to cook too. Notice, I didn't put any fat in here yet and I don't have to. I didn't put any fat. I mean, do you want to emphasize and talk about what type of fat? You mean when you said you put no fat in here? No animal fat, that's for sure. Ain't no butter. So that's, that means what? No butter? Oh no, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. Not even any oils. No. no oils, no oils yet. What I like to use, I like to water saute. All right, good morning. I like to water saute. Where's my, and then make your own vegetable broth, especially if you have hypertension. Okay, those brands out there, remember we talked about reading labels. There's a lot of sodium in those boxed broths. I'm not even putting no vegan butter because it's a lot of stuff in that uh, vegan butter, right? I'd rather somebody just... I'm not using that. Are we on? I'm going to put in... What else can I put in here? Let's cook together. I'm going in with this red cabbage. Now, 
insulin resistant people. Can we do some carrots? Thank you. You are the best too. Kept secret squirrel. Can we do carrots in here? This is some vegetable broth that I made. Very easy. All those leftover veggies that we throw in the trash, put them in some water and make you some broth. Onions, yes. Ooh, you know I forgot to cut up my onion. I'll do it right now. Love onions. I love onions. Got it too. Love this it. is live because I sure forgot the onion. And good for you, right? Very good for you. No eggs. We're not doing that. We're eating to beat disease. We're eating to beat disease. Like I said, it's no recipe. I put about six cups of water on the stove and all of my veggies at the end of the week, like the, the, the butt of the carrots, the, um, the ends of my herbs, I just throw it all in there. Onions, some onion peels, garlic peels, I throw it all in and I make my own vegetable broth like that. So that's what you want to do. See like, see like this right here that people throw away? I cut that off and I put it in the fridge until I'm ready to make vegetable broth. I do that for the ends of my um, carrots too. Onions and garlic. All right, yes, brown rice, no, not doing brown rice in the lettuce wrap. I want you to think um, P.F. Shane's China Bistro and their lettuce wraps, but veganized, veganized. Okay, that's where we that's where we going with this. Green and red peppers are they low on the glycemic index? What's gonna be our meat? What's gonna be our meat? Yes, you know I love me some mushrooms. You know it. Now some of you guys can do this. That was garlic. That garlic out of that garlic skin. Some of you guys can do these soy curls. You rehydrate them, and that could be like your chicken, right? These are by Butler's, and I think you can get these on Amazon. Oh, I forgot for flavor. I forgot this. We're gonna, this is fresh garlic and ginger. Lion mane mushrooms, yes, yes. So you saw I hit it with this, you saw I hit it with this garlic and ginger and onion. That's gonna make it taste real good, okay? Mm-hmm. I didn't do carrots because, you know, they are kind of higher on the glycemic index. So, but if you are your body's detective, you can see how it affects your blood sugar. No chickpeas in this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But I'm going in with these mushrooms, though. Portobellas. Portobellas. Check the, check the, um, sodium on the bouillon cube, especially if you have hypertension. High blood pressure is a thing, for real. All right, I didn't put any seasonings yet. No salt, but I'm about to talk about it. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this vegetable broth so we don't stick. You can use water because I'm gonna show you something that's gonna give it some more flavor that's lower sugars as well. Pretty healthy that you can use. All right, now let's talk about sodium and salt, hypertension people, and in all these lifestyle diseases. Let's talk about it. We're not using the girl with the umbrella, okay? It's bleached, it's white, it's toxic, it's poison. There are no minerals. This one, this Celtic sea salt has about 90 minerals use that i like to use this on my raw when i just do salads and stuff because i don't want to kill any of those minerals if you can like i just want them to be fresh i don't know that's just me this one this pretty red beauty himalayan sea salt the red i use this for most of my cooking like share follow like share follow tell a friend we out here attacking lifestyle diseases with our fork with our fork I'm going to go in with just maybe a fourth of a teaspoon. That's all you need right now. That's all you need. This one does not have iodine. So if you have a thyroid issue, you might have to supplement. Okay. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of I put a little bit of lemon juice in everything just to brighten it up. Water chestnuts. We want a little crunch. Lemon or lime, lemon or lime, just to freshen it up a little bit. That Celtic sea salt, probably th this one. I think they have they fortify it, but this one I don't see if it does. I don't see that it does. Usually say iodine, but I feel like it should, right? Like naturally, mm -hmm. because it's plus minerals in this stuff. I don't do iodine, iodine. I don't do it. I don't do it. But some people have thyroid issues, but you need to check with your physician and see what to do about that. I don't think it mainly lies in the salt. You might want to look at, and this is just a recommendation. I'm not a doctor. You might want to look at uh, Lugol's, um, you know that stuff. Iodine. Iodine, Lugol's. Yeah, that's a good one. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, we need a little green in here, but I don't have to because I got my green over here. So let's look, see what we have. Do we have fiber? Yes, we have fiber. Do we have protein? Do we have protein? Here's the salt behind me. This is it. This is at Costco's, by the way. What's our protein? I, I wanted red peppers and, and, and I don't have any, but you put red peppers in yours. Let's turn it down a little bit, babe. What's the protein, y'all? Let me tell you something. Like my husband said, you don't need as much protein as you need. There's protein in veggies. There's protein in vegetables. Honey, is there protein in fruit? No, I don't think so. But there's protein in vegetables. And grain. And grains, and it's the protein that your body likes. But I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of these cashews for some added protein and some crunch. I like texture. I'm gonna roast these up a little bit, toast them up a little bit. Yes, you could do pistachios, that would be good. That would be yum. Put some cashews in here. Mmm. Homework, go see if pro, how much protein is in the cashews and in the mushrooms. That's your homework. This teacher gonna guide you to success, but I want you to be a part of your own success. Do your research, cause it's your body. And some things work for some people, some things don't work for some people. Like I have to be very careful with legumes and I love me some red beans, camellia. But if they're not cooked, the right way and if they're not soaked and all them bubbles is poured off oh man my stomach gonna be in trouble i'm gonna be a gassy mess and i don't like that we don't like he don't like that either <laughs> why are you over there laughing oh you smiling i'm smiling too will oh this is funny come back and assist me that's right thank you i'm here thank you come back and assist me I love that. I love the, that. The little stove here at the right, the right fire. So it was already <laughs> at the right fire. I love lentils Don't too. Don't to burn, right? I love lentils too. This is the bean man. He could cook a bean. He could cook a legume. We have to get you on. Oh, here and cook some legumes. legumes. Yeah, because I we had a problem with cooking legumes uh, not too long ago. But yet, legumes are rich in in protein. Get them, Doc. Protein. Uh, I mean, so if you're worried about protein, eat your beans, your lentils, your nuts, uh, nuts peas you, you're getting your your protein there mm -hmm. so it's don't worry about and forget about the animal protein we we don't we don't need that you don't secret i love beans too but they don't love me and i don't want to offend you at night <laughs> well that's very thoughtful <laughs> <laughs> all right all right melody you get me all right yes listen the proteins are in the vegetable kingdom. That's all I'm saying. I think that's enough. It's just a little tad. Okay, a little tad. Okay, chef. Go ahead, boss. 
And that's what I was trying to do. I didn't want it to dry out here or to, to stick to the skillet, but we're just about done. It's, it's just about done here. So we're gonna start preparing. Let's plate it. Let's plate it. Oh, I forgot the mo one of the most important, uh -uh, can't plate it yet, you guys. Look what's going on in here. This is gonna give you that uh, rice noodle effect, okay? Look, look, who can guess what that is? Who can guess what this is? Can't forget this, almost forgot it. Tell me what that was. No tomato, we're going, we're doing Asian, Asian right now, no tomato though. Unless you like it on yours. Did we see what, what, what Did y'all see what that was? Close is not bean sprouts. Close is not jicama. <laughs> I love the guessing game. Not cauliflower. Look, look at this again. Hold on. I'm gonna pull it. I'll put it up close. Mm -hmm. Not jackfruit. Yes. What kind of coconut? Yes, it is coconut. It is coconut. It's young coconut meat. That is gonna, oh my goodness. Young coconut meat is a game changer. To, it takes the, it simulates the rice noodles, right? But, but those rice noodles, that's just white. Most of them is just white and we want to, what? Okay, that's another good fat. Rice noodles, yes, no, coconut meat, not the rice noodles, okay? Because the rice noodles, again, that's, unless you can get some brown ones, that's white, that's processed, for the, for the person who's, who's um, dealing with insulin resistance, we don't need that, okay? We don't need that. So let's just do this good fat. I know that deserves some roses. I know it did. I know it did. Thank you, thank you. Go ahead, baby, we're gonna plate this up. All right, so we're just about ready to start preparing this, putting it in the, in the lettuce and cabbage wraps. It's just about done. Looking, looking pretty good. All right, let's see here. Let's plate this. All right, I think we're ready now. Let me go, I'm gonna wash my hands one more time. I just wanna... And again, for our, our wraps, we have our red cabbage, right? We have our romaine lettuce. But again, you could use uh, kale, you could use uh, collards, uh, mustards. Uh huh. Yeah, you can get it from your Asian market. Yep. Whole Foods has the whole young coconut. It's a lot of work, but I love that coconut water. If you want to do it that way too. All right. So, you ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna do one. Okay. I wash my hands. They're impeccably clean. Do you know that most of these viruses out here, if we just wash our hands, people don't wash their hands. Wash, we gotta wash our hands. Okay, these are uh, vegan, plant-based lettuce wraps. Leave it out. If you don't want the coconut, you can leave it out. You turn it off. We can turn this off now, this is done. All right. I'm gonna fill this up like this. Ooh, yes. I love food like this. You know, when you go to the restaurants, you know, and when you can go to a restaurant and find some good plant-based food, I'm an appetizer girl. I love appetizers. So this is right up my alley. Okay, now let's make this pretty now. I like cilantro. Cilantro is one of those things, you like it or you don't. I like it. Cilantro, we need some green. There it is. And herbs are for the what? What did Revelation 22? To the say healing of the nation. Herbs are for the healing of the nation. You really can't get anything good at restaurants. You gotta find your raw vegan one, like like Tesla's in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, Them raw nice. wraps. Whew. Okay. Then I'm gonna hit it, you guys, with some of this. Now look at this. I'm reading my labels. This one tablespoon has 270 milligrams of sodium. So my people with hypertension, watch it. Thank you, thank you, I love the gifts. But it has only three grams of sugar. Only three grams, only three grams. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on here, just a little bit. 
like, okay, baby, this one for you. Get your little salsa. This one for you, and I'm gonna fix me one. Cause he likes the cabbage, right? You can tailor this to you what you like. He likes the red cabbage. I like the romaine. Hey, thank you for the gifts. Thank you so much. Go take this course. You need to know these eight steps. This is just one law of health, right? In the course, I am cooking and teaching for you, okay? We have um, embedded video with the recipe eBooks. We have about four or five recipe eBooks in that course. We are testing water. All those eight laws, I'm specifically going step by step. Like a coach, going through it. We have one life to live. Remember that soap, one life to live? Put a, how, it tastes good? It's very good. Just I love, love it. the, the crunchiness. The textures. Of the, the water. It is in my bio, my profile. Yes. Oh, let me go. Mmm. 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 Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm. Oh, Father God, we do indeed thank you for this delicious food that is going to really nourish our bodies. Listen, we praying over stuff that ain't nourishing our bodies. Talking about God bless this. No. Mm mm. Mm. And this is a quick, healthy, mm -hmm. healthy snack. Mm. I mean, you can use for breakfast or lunch. I mean, it's lunchtime now. But this is a quick, easy, healthy snack. So this morning, let's go through it. Oh, somebody wants to know what this is. We started with some diced red cabbage, ginger and garlic, fresh. Um, we did mushrooms, whatever you like. Thank you. We love you too, Black. Black Anise, love you. Thank you. We're here to serve. Thank you. Um, onion, ginger, garlic, I said that the young coconut meat that you can get from your Asian store. Um, water, am I missing water something? Crunch. Water, chestnuts, the Ch crunch, the crunch. You can even put some green beans in here. That would be good. Mm -hmm. If you could put a little red bread pepper, red bell pepper, that would be good. Maybe a little bit of carrot if you want to, just a little bit. This is so good. You don't have to go to P.F. Shane's. Mm -mm. And you can control your sodium. You can control your sugar, which is what you need to do. All right, because we eat to beat disease. We here with you. This is what we do. Radishes might be good. Now, that's something he likes, and I don't. But but that would be good for him. He would like that. Oh, no, we forgot some more raw stuff. What? Oh, hold on, let me make another one. Let me make another one. That's more. <laughs> we were supposed to put the radishes on there. The sprouts. I would like bean sprouts, too, guys. Bean sprouts would be really good on this. But I'm going to do some. Oh, the cashews, yes, for the protein. Okay, so I'm gonna make yes. another one. I'm making another one. Let's go. Now, and you will be full on this. You will be. You think you won't, but you will be. Because raw food is filling. It is. It's very filling. Okay. Hitting it with that cilantro. Hit it with that cilantro. Then, hold this, baby. Let me get some of these sprouts. Just a few. Then we're going to just hit it with a few. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, and that's this, so pretty. And this is red clover sprouts. Look at that. Ooh. It's very colorful. Yes, too. we are plant-based. Isn't that beautiful? And it's nutritious and delicious. Very nutritious. My bean sprouts, I do with lentils. I love a lentil bean sprout. It takes about three days and they're done. You soak them, strain, rinse, strain. Three days, they're done. Right? This is so healthy. It's good for you. If you could eat like this, take take last week's food menu, work that a couple of days, take this, work it a couple of days. Listen, we're going to kill that disease. We're going to kick it out of here. Can I just go ahead and bite? Bite into it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wait, <laughs> what is that? Mmm. <laughs> So apparently she's getting all the flavor. I like the red cabbage all better. The, the red cabbage is very good. Very good. Mmm. We also had the romaine, right? We had the romaine. Yeah. And the red cabbage. But. Again, you can use other type 
uh, wraps, like mm -hmm. we, we mentioned kale, we mentioned uh, mustard, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. bok choy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I like the red cabbage. The too. red cabbage, guys, is so good. I always avoid it. This is my. This is good. I think I like it better than the romaine. It's just crunch. It's that crunch. Oh, we had 17,000, almost 18,000 likes. Let's go. All right, well, we're done, though. What I want to say in closing is that you are in charge of your health. I love my doctor. We get our physical checkups, right? But I am in charge of my health. I am. All right? All he can do for me is manage my disease because I don't think they take very many nutrition courses anyway right and then you got a big farm involved so listen do what you can do the first step you need to do is go ahead on and register and take this course right step by step the course is very detailed so with the yeah. information we're giving we can't give you everything in just what one hour here mm -hmm. but if you go into and take the course um, it'll go into a lot more detail than what we can about remember. each law of health about yes. each natural doctor because on this platform what we try to do is do the cooking part because that's what most people feel like we don't know what to eat what do you eat it's at my profile that's where you register and you are worth it all right it's time to self-heal self-heal one of my friends she's on day uh week three and she is just she texts me every denise are you on here she texted me every day girl you got girl 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 went to high school with her and she took the course she's still taking the course she's implementing she's working the program she done lost a pile of weight Hope she's getting off medications listen way to go denise yes yeah. and i want people who, who took the course taking the course don't just download it and i have another friend who downloaded registered and still haven't taken the course pay for it and just sitting there we don't want that either we want you to work the program. We want it to benefit you and you yeah. and you will see and feel the benefits. That's that's guaranteed. Yes, it's guaranteed. You know why I can guarantee it? Because the Bible said it. And God is your creator. Just like I always say that Tesla dude, he knows what to put in that car for it to run. God knows what you were supposed to put in your body. And it's the diet of Genesis 129, 318, Revelation 3. Uh, 22 2 Romans 12 1 and 2 3 John 2 first go ahead baby take over yep and that's the blueprint that's the Bible is the blueprint it's that's the blueprint. that's the principles of, of health that we're following all right we're gonna go on this note I'm trying to get off the exactly you need to doubt you need to register and take the course you now this is one thing I want to say disclaimer we don't know how to help you with the side effects of the medications that's not what we do here. Thank you for the roses. We show you how to implement this program to help heal yourself. Now those, now those drugs, you know, you start healing, you might not need as much blood pressure medication. You may not, you might have to come down. So work with your physician. Might have to come down on your uh, insulin. Work with your physician, but work this program. And when you go to him, he's gonna say, "What? What you? What, what we here? Whatever you doing, keep doing. Right. Whatever you doing, keep doing. Okay. This is the true remedy for disease. These eight laws are the true remedies for diseases: nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, fresh air, rest." And trusting in your maker, God, the divine power. All right, we done. Yeah. We done. I'm gonna finish folks, eating this. <clears throat> thank you all for joining. Yes. Um, go try this and, and, and enjoy. And go ahead and follow me on TikTok. Follow us. It is your one stop shop for all your healing needs. We are showing you 30 second, one, uh, 15 second TikToks to show you how we implement this lifestyle. Also, it's a lot of information. Yes. Yeah, a lot exactly. of information that we find, we post, and you can follow and be encouraged and be motivated. All right? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. I appreciate your support, all of you. Everyone, Go ahead and subscribe, so register, and take the course. Thanks, guys. Let's pray for the people.
Yeah. Let's pray that they will have healing in their lives. Yes. Dear God, we thank you for everyone that has joined and we ask and we pray that your divine presence be on them as we all try to implement your principles into our lifestyle. So help us now as we go on this journey and uh, may we glory, glorify you in all that we say, do, and think. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye, guys. Bye, all.